Data Science with Excel, Python and Transport Tycoon. Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture where we'll explore how the IF function works in both Excel and Python. We'll dive into this concept using an example from the game Transport Tycoon, also known as OpenTTD. So, let's get started. Imagine we have two thriving cities in Transport Tycoon that we want to connect to facilitate passenger transport. Our goal is to decide the most suitable mode of transportation based on the number of passengers wanting to travel between these cities. First, we establish a bus connection between the cities. Buses are great for small numbers of passengers. In our game, each bus can carry a maximum of 35 passengers. This is perfect for low demand scenarios. However, what if the demand increases? Buses won't be sufficient anymore. So, we build a train connection. Our train has three passenger cars, each capable of carrying 40 passengers, totaling 120 passengers per trip. This setup is ideal for medium passenger volumes. this scenario into Excel to decide which transport mode to use based on passenger numbers. Suppose we have a cell A2 where we input the number of passengers. We want Excel to choose bus if passengers are 35 or fewer and train if more. This simple if function checks the condition A2 less than or equal to 35. If it's true, it returns bus, otherwise it returns train. Let's achieve the same logic using Python. Here's the code. This script asks for the number of passengers and then uses an if-else statement to decide the transport mode. As our cities grow, the demand might exceed what trains can handle, so we introduce a plane connection. Planes in our game can carry up to 300 passengers. We build airports in both cities to accommodate this new mode of transport. With the 
plane option added, we need to update our Excel formula to include this third option. Here's how it works. If a 2 is less than or equal to 35, it returns bus. Else, it checks if A2 is less than or equal to 120. If true, it returns train. If neither condition is met, it defaults to plane. Now we'll update our Python script to include the plane option. Here's the revised code. This script now uses an elif, or else if, statement to check multiple conditions. If passengers are 35 or fewer, choose bus. Else if passengers are 120 or fewer, choose train. Else choose plane. To wrap up, we've seen how to use the IF function in Excel and conditional statements in Python to make decisions based on data, in our case, the number of passengers. By applying nested IFs in Excel and ELIF statements in Python, we can handle multiple conditions effectively. Thank you for joining this lecture. I hope you now have a better understanding of how conditional logic works in Excel and Python. Try experimenting with these concepts in your own projects, or even in games like Transport Tycoon.